Good morning, folks. How are you doing today? It is Sunday, and that means I need to look in this virtual mirror, this camera, and talk about how we did for the week. Uh, really, this week goes down as a pretty darn good week. Uh, the one rental at a time course called How to Get Started One Rental at a Time is seeing increased transaction or traction. Traction. Uh, we just went over a thousand students. The Facebook group is blowing up. People are doing deals. Uh, it's this has been a fun week. Uh, had several days where multiple students signed up in a day. I don't think any day this week we had zero. So again, one rental at or how to get started one rental at a time is working. It's changing lives, and that's why I work every day is to help improve people's lives a little bit every day. My approach is different. It's focus and it's consistent effort. It's not sexy. It's not get rich quick. It's no easy button. But if you're ready to work and you don't have a lot of time, there's no better approach. And more and more students are seeing that. Uh, if you do buy the course for measly 200 bucks, make sure you join the, the Facebook group, which is called One Rental at a Time Works. Uh, I will validate that you've purchased it and then add you to that group. Uh, students are interacting daily and we do a Facebook, a Facebook live every Saturday for some one-on-one -on -one mentoring questions and answers. It's a lot of fun, but let me talk about the full week. And as of course, I will share my spreadsheet. I believe goals are important. I believe writing them down is important. I believe setting numbers is important, but tracking them is more important and ultimately tracking and sharing them is what really makes the magic happen. So as you can see, if you look at the bottom of this screen, I've been doing this since December 1st. This will almost, well, next week will be basically a full year. And um, yeah, you can go back and look. Again, this channel, my channel has a full uh, playlist called Goals. So you can look at each week. I came back to you and talked about what we were doing. So for this week, we're back to um, working out a couple of days or every day. Uh, actually, I have a new goal, which... I probably will work into next week is I'm trying to run five miles in the morning and then row 5,000 meters. I'm going to see if I can do that every day, at least six days a week. We'll, we'll see if I can do it every day. I've done it three days in a row. It's fun. It's definitely a mental thing. Uh, Got to get back on the fasting. Haven't really done that. It was a big part of my success earlier in the year. You can see here losing weight. Let's just say I have gained weight in this pandemic and I'm not happy. The YouTube, the social media brand, we once again hit our goal of 20,000. Uh, it is tricking, ticking down. Um, it just is. Podcasts, first time in a while we were under 10,000. Actually, let's go back and see when was the last time we were under 10,000? Oh, way back. So way back in, I don't know what that'd be, probably July. So something happened with the podcast. Um, not many people watching. If you don't know what a podcast is, for me, it's just a... All my YouTube videos over five minutes get converted to a YouTube, or I'm sorry, a podcast. It's available on all the podcast platforms. It's of course called One Rental at a Time. Uh, you, YouTube subscribers, we got back over 150. Very, very happy about that. We're getting close to 12,000. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe you can do me that favor, hit subscribe. I'd love to get to 12,000 and then we'll see where we go from there. Uh, last time I checked, we were just about 11,700. Instagram had a pretty good week. We got 770, 70, 70 uh, new Instagram again, one rental at a time, post stuff daily. As for the business, we're trying. It's a tough market, you know, just like you. It's a tough market. I do see a little bit more inventory coming. I've done some great deals in the past between Thanksgiving and Christmas, Thanksgiving and New Year's. So I'm going to be on the hunt. I'm going to be aggressive. So we'll see what happens. Haven't spent any uh, marketing here recently. I uh, haven't increased cash flow. Damn, everything's taking slow. Uh, I'm refining a couple of apartment buildings, uh, which will save thousands of dollars. I have one, two, four flips in escrow. Two were supposed to close earlier this month, but everything is slow. My title company actually had to shut down because they had um, three infections. So that has slowed everything down. Uh, and then I haven't bought anything. Oh man, I haven't bought anything. This is the first quarter. I think I haven't bought anything. Let me see. Did I buy anything? I must've bought stuff back in. Yeah. So I bought two. 
that period. How many did I buy here? Sorry, folks. I just want to know how much I bought earlier in the year. Here we go. Bought one then. How many did I buy this period? Four. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I haven't bought anything this period. Not good. Need to do that. Uh, we did do a unique event. Um, so that's cool. Creating memories, doing different things. And then as far as inspiring hope and belief, that's really what One Rental at a Time, this book was written to help you know it's possible. My course is, hey, if you're ready to go and ready to work, this is how it's done. Uh, but really this channel is meant to inspire hope and belief. So 39 videos last week. My daily financial news ticked down this week. I'm not sure why. Uh, only 896 was the peak view. Uh, but again, I hit my goal, so I'm happy, but it's not this 15 or 1600 like it was last week. Uh, my peak video of the week almost hit my goal of 1500. It was 16 views short. Uh, wasn't was on a podcast. Uh, again, if you run a podcast or have a real estate meetup, love to be a part of it. We did get five Amazon reviews. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, again, love seeing five star review. You're, you're all of you have helped me average five stars on Amazon. My deepest, deepest thank you for that. If you, if you would like to, you know, write your own review of five stars, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, Audible, we got three reviews this week. Thank you very much. Again, uh, over a hundred Audible reviews is pretty awesome. And then students, we had 21 students sign up this week, putting us over a thousand. That is um, pretty awesome. You know, I never, I, I'm not sure I ever really thought I never really had that kind of goal. And maybe it's because I don't have big goals. We'll have to think about that next period, right? Um, but wow. And to see the interaction in the Facebook group and questions, it's, I got to tell you, it's, it's pretty fun to see people take that first step or that second step. It's pretty awesome. Didn't sell any of these lovely hats available in three colors. So be it, may, may close that down, not sure. And then finally, didn't give any money away or to charity, but I already wrote it down. Olivia and I are meeting later today. We're going to spend 500 bucks on the hub toy drive. Uh, if you don't know, I think we announced it on Friday. Uh, we're doing a toy, toy drive for the hub, which is my office building of awesome real estate investors in Fresno. We are going to bring some cheer, uh, you know, to some kids and put some smiles on their face. So that will wrap up our $2,000 in donations. These donations come from book and course sales. Uh, it's fun to give that away. And I look forward to continuing to do that. So at the end of the day, we're almost done with my fourth 13 week period. So on this channel, you can find the last 50, what, 51 weeks of status. You can see every week if you so desire. I believe goals are important, writing them down, tracking, but you have to tell people how you're doing. That's the magic, the pressure you get from under or overachieving. That's the magic. So build your own spreadsheet, move forward, take the course. I, if you were new to real estate investing, I would do a spreadsheet on looking at your market. Did you look at your market seven days this week? How many did you, you know, how many uh, houses did you run your numbers on? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, take the course, understand what bad, average, good, and great are, and let's have some fun. Have a wonderful day.